Some of my plans really run on neglect, folks. That's the truth of it all. I know I preach a lot. I love talking about gardens and how to revive them for yourselves and make them really successful. But at the end of the day, I know I've bitten off more than I can chew here with the size of the property. So when it comes to looking after your plants, you've got to try and be as efficient as possible and understand what's going on with your plant when you see something change. And most common things that happen to them is a discoloration of the leaves. They'll start to go yellow, brown, dry up, curl, things like that. So whether it's a pest or a disease, it's one thing. But when it's a discoloration and it's not from above ground the problem, more so from below the ground, well, that's something that you really got to pay attention to and switch off from all those crappy uh, marketing strategies that other companies do about slow release, fast release, you know, those liquid synthetic fertilizers. And I'm talking about chemical based fertilizers, stuff that are uh, really not good for the earth. It may look like it works on the plant and, you know, they do work in one respect, but what is the uh, consequences of using something like that? And the main one is that you're disconnecting the plant from the soil. And all that happens is the plant becomes addicted to synthetic fertilizers. It's like a hit of a drug. So it needs it more regu regularly. And it's not so much it needs it more regularly, I won't say that. I'd say it actually the biggest damage and un unseen damage is the disconnection that, ex it, that occurs with the soil. So, and the soil is full of life. You know, I've spoken about it from, you know, forever. And when I say soil it is full of life, it's the microbes in the soil, bacteria, fungi, and all the above, and the composting creatures. And it's almost, the if not the bloody same as our gut. So whatever's going on in the earth and whatever you feed the earth, is what you're feeding your gut. So the old phrase or expression, you are what you eat. Now you may be eating a, a, a handful of lettuce or a lemon or an orange, whatever that is. If it's from a supermarket or from a commercial grower, chances are you're eating something that looks like a lemon, but you're eating a handful of antibiotics, chemicals and synthetic fertilizers that if it disconnects from the earth, what is it doing to your gut? Because those, those chemicals are still in the plant. Most of them are systemic, meaning they travel through the sap flow. So a little bit of discoloration like this is a depletion of some nutrients in the soil or it needing a top up basically. So that depletion of yellowing like that you see, normally you'd reach out for something that's uh, I suppose a quick hit and you're probably going to trace elements and things like that thinking they're lacking in the earth Well, they're not. They're actually there. They've just not been activated by the plan. What happens when you use chemicals? The plant will take it up because it's very soluble, or readily soluble. So the plant will immediately take, immediately take it up through the moisture and start to green up. And you're thinking, wow, it's working so well. But what's happening underneath in the meantime is the life in the soil and the microbe colonies are starting to deplete because the plant stops feeding the earth. It does happen. So when the plant stops feeding now, you may say, who cares as long as, the plant, as long as the plant's healthy above. If it's an edible plant and you're using synthetic fertilizers, it stops feeding the earth. It, in return, it stops getting the macro micronutrients naturally from the microbes. And so it's full of what? Synthetic chemicals, fertilizers. And what do they do to the plant? They reduce the nutritional density, the, the quality of the fruit. And then when you digest it or eat it, if your microbes in the soil aren't digesting those synthetic fertilizers because they can't, what's happening to your gut? Exactly the same thing. You're pop populating the wrong type of gut biome. You're actually getting a bad batch of gut biome and then the arthritis kicks in and then the, the gout kicks in and the headaches kick in and ah, the problems start occurring. And then we reach for what? More pills and potions. The pills and potions, start here with your plants and the feeding of your plants starts with the natural base products compost manures you can buy them you know from your farmers you don't have to go to a, an outlet you don't even have to go on our website you can go to your local farmers and support them make your own leaf mulch very important we'll do that as a next topic leaf mulch is great um, compost from the kitchen the scraps there they're great or otherwise if you haven't got the space or room to make it research the quality stuff hello that's all we do we care about your garden as far as what you put into it because that's what we care about ours this plant here neglect it's had a bag of uh, planting mix pla uh, spread over the top and we've added nothing else no mulch no nothing it's been sitting in this corner competing against a big conifers and you can see how it's greened up now 
because it was yellowing off really bad in the past. We had these old yellow stems here, but you can see now all the new growth, not so much new now, but earlier on when it did come off, it's nice and beautiful. Now, if this doesn't fill in here, I'm gonna end up cutting this back down to there. And we've got to take this one off because that's over ripened. So feeding your plants, whether they're edibles or ornamental plants, whatever you apply in the garden's got to be good stuff, real stuff, natural stuff that can be digested by the life in the soil. And leafy stuff or mulch which can be composted by the composting creatures which then get taken over by the microbes. So it's a layering effect and the plants will love you for it. Citrus trees especially love compost, superfood and black grip. That's it. Liquid fertilizers work on everything, but if you're having problems with a little bit of yellowing, that's because a little bit of cold temperature and we had yellowing earlier in the season. We've topped it up. This is fine. We've got a lot better trees out there. Based on its location, it's doing pretty well considering the little um, attention it gets from me. Looking for a good product, go to our website, thesilliesgarden.com. It's the new site, it's up and running. Our click and collect outlets are available. There's about five or six, so you can select your outlet where you want to collect. Save yourself on the postage. And we are running our end of financial year sale, 24% off with the coupon code EOFI. EOFY24, end of financial year 24. That's the code, and you save yourself a bundle. From Eva Silly, Maresi.